Good day and welcome to Mission Control Houston, where a team of flight controllers watches over the activities aboard the International Space Station. Today on the International Space Station, the Expedition 34 crew is working on experiments that look at plumbing concepts for future spacecraft, capillary flow experiments that look at how fluids work in microgravity, how liquids like paint and milk react to microgravity, and setting up a student-guided Earth camera and a long-term project to look at giving crews in space more autonomy in their work. For capillary flow experiment three, the work is starting some new experiments on flows in weird containers that passively separate fluids. The researchers at the Portland State University in Oregon intend to use the results to guide development of a new system for spacecraft that'll make plumbing more like Earth plumbing, where the effects of surface tension replace the role of gravity. The uh, colloid experiment that works with solids suspended in fluids is called the Investigating the Structure of Paramagnetic Aggregates from Colloidal Emulsions to or In Space to. Researchers at the University of Delaware are, will obtain data on fluids that change properties in response to magnetic fields and see if they can use that to improve or develop new braking systems and robotics. Crew also is setting up EarthCam, which is an experiment that is organized by the University of California in San Diego and enables thousands of students, middle school mostly, to photograph and examine the Earth from a space crew's perspective. And they use the internet and control a special digital camera that's mounted uh, inside the space station's observation section. And this enables them to photograph the Earth's coastlines, mountain ranges, and other geographic items of interest from this unique vantage point. The uh, International Space Station as testbed for analog research experiment is working on a spacesuit cooling loop maintenance activity today. They're working with the extravehicular mobility unit, the U.S. spacesuit that they use for spacewalks, and subdividing the uh, spacesuit maintenance jobs beyond normal blocks of time that they would use if coordinating with mission control. The idea is to develop procedures for the future that allow the crew to complete the work with minimal or no no interaction with mission control, which will be important when time delays grow longer as voyagers get farther away from Earth. Crew also will be replacing some bolts in the protein crystallization research facility and uh, doing uh, several days of uh, capillary flow experiment work. Coming up a little bit later today, the uh, mobile servicing system elements, uh, Canadarm2 and Dexter, will begin uh, a transfer of a failed main bus switching unit from its temporary storage location on the external storage platform 2, which is outside the Quest airlock, uh, to the external logistics carrier 2, which is on the starboard or right side of the truss. The uh, failed uh, switching unit was replaced last summer during spacewalks by uh, Expedition 33's Commander Sonny Williams and Flight Engineer Aki Hoshide, and they're just moving it back into the final storage location. Other than that, there's a lot of uh, continued maintenance and uh, other research going on the International Space Station, but all systems are working well.